Today, we are gonna be putting phone photography to the test with the Oppo Find X5 Pro. We're gonna be doing some really fun creative photography. Today, we're doing a door portal. We bought a whole entire door and we're gonna be taking two shots, one right out here in this field and then we'll take another one at the beach and then we're gonna erase everything inside the door so it creates the illusion that our model is standing looking at this door and it's a portal into a completely new location. Shout out to Oppo for sponsoring this week's video. I'm so pumped to put this phone to the test and see what it can do. First things first, let's go ahead and get this door set up so we can take some test shots. I'm so afraid we're gonna break this door before we even get a chance to shoot with it. Okay, so this might be a good time to talk about all the settings we're using before the sun goes down. On the Oppo Find X5 Pro, we have the option of doing expert mode, and that's the setting I'm gonna be shooting with this entire shoot. It gives me the ability to shoot on RAW, which is just a game changer for a phone. But if you're not familiar with what a RAW photo does, basically it gives you a lot more information in your photo, and it just gives you much more flexibility in post. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot everything on RAW+. Plus. So we just shot a whole bunch of practice shots. They are looking incredible. Now we're just gonna tilt this door a little bit more. Positioning is just ever so slightly off. Hopefully this will showcase the shot a little bit better. The Apple Find X5 Pro is actually supposed to perform really well at nighttime. So I definitely wanna try pushing its boundaries just a little bit. If you've ever shot on a phone before, then you know that even low light settings like right after sunset usually can get really grainy and not look well. So I'm really excited to see how it looks and how it holds up with that twilight lighting, which is my personal favorite time to shoot. So I'm whipping out a nan light right now. And what I wanna do is put this in the outside of the door where our beach or our beautiful setting is going to be. And what this is gonna do is just help light up Allie's face and create the illusion that she's actually standing there looking into this bright setting. If she was actually opening the door to a beach sunset, then that beach sunset lighting should theoretically be shining on her face. So that's what we're trying to accomplish with this. I'm thinking just like a nice warm orange tint would look nice. Like that, that looks very sunset -y. You can even see like the edges of this door frame. It's starting to get a lot more texture and detail. It's gonna really help this photo look a lot more realistic. Oh my is, no. Like, this field is covered in stickers. Oh my lord. All for this photo. Look at you. You are a champion. <laughs> <laughs> so it's definitely still a little bit bright for these man lights to be picked up. It needs to get a little bit darker before you can really start seeing the light reflecting off the door and stuff. But the sun should be setting any second now. Hopefully it sets quick because we need to get out of here. We're getting ate alive by bugs again. And we're bleeding. Huge shout out to my one and only for always being such a trooper on my shoots. So I'm actually loving this expert feature. If you can see right here, the Apple allows me to pick the ISO, set it to whatever I want, the shutter, the focus, the aperture, the white balance even, which is so convenient when you're using a phone. Usually phones can make your photos look pretty good, but they don't always know exactly the feel and look you're going for. For example, this shoot specifically, I want to underexpose just a little bit um, to create more of a dark, moody look instead of a happy, perfectly lit look. Instead of doing auto ISO, I'm gonna drop it down to ISO 100. And then instead of having auto shutter speed, I'm gonna start messing around with that, making it manual, and just bring it down one over 180, maybe one 150. That looks pretty nice there. I want this photo to be a lot more of a warm feel, so I'm gonna go ahead and just try to add a little bit more warmth into that. So let's go ahead and take a couple more photos. I'll have Jimmy hold the light so it'll kind of light up Ali's face a lot more. And yeah, I think that'll be a wrap for the shoot. Okay, this is looking really, really good. I think having Jimmy holding these lights is just adding so much more depth to the image and it's gonna, I think it's gonna make it look really good. I'm gonna get a little bit farther away and take some more. So now it's officially nighttime. We keep saying it's gonna be the last shot, but then it just keeps looking better and better. And the phone is holding up quite nice. I think these are looking just as good as they did when it was sunset out. I think we're actually about done now, but we might do one more. <laughs> the glow coming through the door is just making this shot look so insane. Right now we're shooting at ISO 200. Shutter's been around 160th and our white balance I've just left on auto. I'm literally blown away with how this is looking. Minus the bugs, it's been a great shoot so far. It's literally about pitch black right now. You can barely see the horizon behind us. So we're definitely pushing the night photography on this phone to its limits. So let's maybe do one final burst and wrap up and get out of here.